So hi, my name's Gavin Robertson. I'm the head winemaker and vineyard manager um, and an instructor at the Niagara College Teaching Winery and Canadian Food and Wine Institute. And we're standing today in the uh, uh, Zeraldo block uh, of Chardonnay uh, at the NC Teaching Vineyard. Um, this is a really special vineyard in our region because um, not only does it produce world-class grapes and world-class wine, uh, it's also a classroom. And so this is where our wine students uh, spend lots of their time in either the two-year diploma uh, winemaking program or the wine business management program, uh, learning the art and science of, of growing grapes. Um, this block was planted in 1996 uh, and has just hit full maturity uh, and ha has produced some award-winning wines uh, in, in lots of different styles. So sparkling wines, unoaked uh, uh, Chardonnay styles, as well as barrel fermented Chardonnay. Uh, really beautiful stuff that I'm lucky enough to work with, uh, with, with 35 or so um, incoming students every September. On the Daniel J. Patterson uh, campus in Niagara-on-the-Lake, uh, we have about 30 acres of agricultural land available for, for planting. Um, the majority of that is devoted to wine grapes, uh, which we use for ice wines and sparkling wines, table wines, red and white, all sorts of things. Uh, and we also have a small uh, planting of hops as well as some cider apples, which we use in our high, hard cider program. Uh, we also are lucky enough to have bees on campus and in the winemaking programs uh, we also talk about making fruit wines and meads which is a really interesting aspect and sort of offshoot of, uh, of wine grapes. So in addition to our, our campus vineyard uh, we, we also have control of a 30 acre plot of really uh, really nice Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, Pinot Grigio, Merlot and Cab Franc vines just down the road in, in the village of St. David's which is a really great opportunity um, to showcase different terroir, different soils, uh, different climate uh, conditions uh, when it comes to growing grapes for the students and so, so we use that property in addition to the campus vineyard. Let's move over to, uh, to part of the vineyard that we're planting uh, new this year, um, which is really exci an exciting opportunity to diversify uh, what we have in the ground on campus. So these young vines behind me represent a really, really exciting opportunity for the, the next generation of winemakers in Ontario. Uh, these are brand new plantings of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc and Merlot. Uh, the Bordeaux grapes, and further along the block we also have new plantings of Sauvignon Blanc, Viognier, Pinot Noir, Riesling, so really representing uh, the big world of wine, all of the important uh, international grapes that are grown and vinified um, worldwide. And these vines are being planted now for a generation. They'll be planted, uh, you know, they'll be producing well for the next 30 years or so, um, and it represents a, a, a teaching, research, um, education uh, opportunity for, for numerous uh, groups of students uh, throughout the next decades. And uh, we'll just head over to the winery now to see where the grapes are vinified. All right, so here we are on what's called the crush pad at the winery, which is basically an outdoor space um, that's kind of weatherproof and has lots of drainage for cleaning um, and is quiet right now in the third week of August, but in a couple short weeks is going to be bustling with activity uh, as the grapes ripen and needs to come off the vine uh, and be processed. So a lot of this stainless steel equipment behind me is used to separate the berries from the stems, separate the juice from the berries, and then it gets pumped into the cellar for fermentation. Okay, so now we're in the tank room at the NC Teaching Winery. And this is where the, the grape juice is transformed uh, into wine. We have all kinds of different styles of fermenters for red wines and white wines, rosés. Um, and and uh, this is where we spend a lot of the year with our students uh, making different batches of various sizes. So anything from you know, a 10,000 liter commercial scale down to a 15 liter research batch or, or, or experimental uh, batch with alongside the students. Okay, so we're, we're at the back of the winery underground and this is where uh, our, our wine barrels are stored for long-term aging. So we have different sizes and shapes of oak barrels uh, and the oak can come from Europe, from France, from Hungary maybe, uh, from the States. Um, and all of those, those, these different barrels give you different flavor and tannin profiles and uh, arriving at a different style of wine. Um, 
Alongside the barrels, we have these really cool 100 liter uh, student pilot fermenters. And these are, these are custom made just for educational purposes uh, because we can ferment small batches of 80 or 85 liters of, of, of wine at a time um, and allow the students to play with, um, with different comparisons of yeast or fermentation temperature, um, different maceration techniques at a small scale. But the tanks themselves approximate any technology you're gonna find in the larger industry. So they have heating and cooling, uh, they're, they're good quality stainless steel, they have racking arms, sample valves, all the things you'd expect to see on a really good quality uh, wine tank out there in, in the industry when our students graduate. So here we are in the student uh, chemistry lab at the teaching winery. Uh, this, this laboratory is really built for speed. So this is where the students get their everyday winemaking numbers, really important analysis of things like sugars, alcohol, acids, um, that, that, that help them make quality wines. This small lab is supported by more serious microbiology and chemistry labs over at the main building, um, where more sophisticated uh, experimentation and research and training can happen. Okay, and finally we arrive in our retail store, which is really the face of, of the winery. It's where we interact with the public. Um, and it's where all the hard work that happens downstairs ends up in bottle. So we have a whole series of wines uh, that are actually sold to the public. And that's a really important aspect of, of what we do here because we are a commercial winery. We're, we're a living, breathing, working facility um, that doubles as a, as a training institution. And uh, all of the, the, the money made from wine sales go back into supporting the vineyards and the winery so that we can operate as a really functional, uh, really cutting edge, modern training facility uh, in the Niagara region of Ontario. I look forward to seeing you all on campus for a wine tasting.